Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn. I have another Twin Flame read for you. There's a major download that came through on this, so stay tuned. Take a deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you guys. Today being the 21st, we already did this part on the first read today. The 21st is the world. The day adds up to 35-8, which is the wounded warrior, right? That The one on their last leg, the, the, the warrior that's been in war, you know, for all of these, uh, these uh, many, 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 many years. And so we're breaking down that, that idea that the man has to be the warrior and go to war. This read is the Syrian Starseed deck. It's my seven deck read. The Syrian Starseed deck is the main deck and that was cut at 1103, which is Justice and the Empress. And At 1121, which is Justice in the World, I was getting Of Flames, which can refer to the Twin Flames or also the drama and um, the Divine Feminine Energy coming up. The, so the Drama Queen could come up from that as well. The 1132 coming up here of Justice and the 32 of the Journey, the Six of Wands, I was getting Good Catch or Good Save. And that's where the Six of Wands, the Journeyman, and the World Reversed landed on the Wounded Warrior, which is the energy today. So that's turning it around, right? By being the one who brings home the good news instead of the one who goes to war, comes home and brings good news. So we finished clarifying this read at 1135, which is Justice and the Wounded Warrior. The Nine of Wands, the Major Arcana were just the Higher Self, and the hanging man and the, made the um, court cards here we had the queen of cups the king of pentacles the king of wands and the knight of wands after the read the queen of pentacles before the read and just the queen of cups king of pentacles and king of wands within the read as well as the nine of wands which is the wounded warrior we had two cups two pentacles two swords and three wands in the read so very well balanced energies and then the code line and the numbers were all about abundance and spiritual partnership. And the numbers, we had triple fives today. So triple fives is a whole lot of change and expansion. 33 is the Christ vibration. Also the seven of wands, standing up for yourself. 77 of the sovereign, being your sovereign being, authentic to yourself, which is the nine of pentacles. And then 99, which is all about compassion and universal selflessness and allowing the ends to happen, just to allow in general. The code line is all about abundance and spiritual partnership. And let's see the numbers we had. Uh, one, one and two. That's it. So the code line was all about the number three today from one and two, which is the mass and the feminine and the third energy. And the message here regarding abundance and spiritual partnership was a very detailed and interesting message today. So first, from the code line, I was getting the expansion and contraction of the phi energy again. The social security number might be coming up for you, but as well, the S and the N and the space between, I told you, was coming up earlier, the space between. And the space between S and N is the lowercase i of the chakra system, which also then spells sin. And S is code Sophia for me, N is code Christ for me, so this is the Christo Sophia energy, and the chakra system in between is literally the word sin. So the, the expansion and contraction of the Christo Sophia, or the Sophia and Christ sin, the high DNA vibration, and acing our humanness, our one to zero vibration, the trill, that high vibration I always tell you about, the mother's knowing, and the grandmother with the nine inch nails, right? <laughs> So that can reference to someone being very religious about Christ on the cross, or it can reference literally someone with long nails who sticks them into their children when they're pissed, or pretending not to know and holding back, or opening the egg too soon. The mother's knowing, the nine-inch nails, or pretending not to know 
And that can be being in your knowing and wanting to keep your energy clear, but also pretending not to know because you don't want to deal with the situation. Um, and there was a lot of acronyms that came up in the, in the read today or in the code line, and the egg was coming up for sure, and the widow, the widower, um, and, and sin. So I'm, I'm going to tell you all of the definitions of sin. Listen to this. It's very important because we base, you know, there's so much in Christianity that bases, bases our lives on the sin that we are, which we are not. So the sin is also the sign or the sign wave, the misdeed or the flaw which, right, to err is human. So it's actually not a flaw. It's our perfect imperfection. It's also sin is a letter in the Hebrew alphabet as well as the Arabic letter, which both look like a mother and a child holding each other. And the tube skirt, you, your, meaning, sense, this is all sin. Sense, sentence, comprehension, mood, opinion, view, desire, breast, sign, S-I-G-N, sink, galvanized orange iron sheet his her its water each other right him her it them or oneself to escape if yes so much the b note or the b key that he, the word he is is i s and she is s i which is also coming up under sin to be the tendon the cord the nerve the body without if however on the contrary Direction, attention, intellect, and reason, feeling, emotion, perception, meaning. This is all under the definition of sin. It's also the song, the sun, without, and the dryness or feeling run dry, the grave, or literally hung out to dry, right? When you are no more, there's no more blood running through your veins. So the sin, S-I-N, is Sophia, Christ, and the, the lowercase I is the chakra system with the third eye on top. The Sophia chakra system with Christ, the joining together with the, so the chakra system, the mother and son, the father and daughter. The mother gives the, I don't, I don't know if you remember this, but I used to talk about all, this all the time where we, the children are born with the Christ consciousness, the gold coin. The feminine is the pink energy. The masculine is the green energy, right? The higher heart and the grounded physical heart. The masculine is the more physical of the two. And then as the mother has a child, she gives her gold coin away, which then she becomes the queen of swords because now she's the silver sword as opposed to the gold coin because she gave her gold coin to her child when she gave birth. And then she needs the masculine energy then to then offer it back to her. And that's what the husband then would do for the mother. Um, and so if someone grows up without a mother or father, it's a big deal because, you know, the feminine gets the green energy of the grounded heart from the father and the sun gets the high heart energy or the pink energy from the mother. So that was very important coming up here. And also, well, going back to the code line, the expansion and contraction, and they were showing me instead of writing expansion, they were showing me to write S for Sophia, S band. And then from contract is C tract. So Sophia panned or expand. S spanned, and then C for the contract, or C tracked for the Christ consciousness. The sin, the high vibe human, and the grant, the mother and or the grandmother of two orphans, the blind men, or two Annies. And Annies literally has an anagram of the insane. So going insane or being committed was coming up as one of the wounds we're clearing right now, and and suicide attempts, and the two orphans, the obligation the not being even with the two ch children, you know, the boy, the son, um, the ones that are seen and not heard, the contents, the 2.5 acres, so someone might have some property here that nobody knows about, and the egg, the labor, the flirting, the longing, the creating, the coming, and the outliving, which then brings up the widow or the widower. Uh, also, the color sienna was coming up with Two Annies, the anagram for insane is also Sienna, which is that rustish color, the color of the desert, the dried out land. So then um, when you take expand and you just take pan, because they were showing me Sophia panned, panned means house, pledge, pawn, or premises, or the narrow curtain over the bed. 
So going back to the code line, the sin of the high 10 as opposed to the low 5, so instead of high 5, it's a low 5 and the 10 is, is the high 10, the mother and the grandmother pretending not to know between them, discovering 2.5 acres perhaps, capturing an opening mouth, the emperor or the four, the house, the possession and the debt, the buddy and the sowing of the oats. Perhaps someone overdid it at the holy place or the place of offering, which is also the egg, the longing, the flirting, in being in pain, the egg cracked open, outliving your child or spouse, outliving the game. And then I was getting, again, the running dry of it, right? No more blood flow through. All right, so, so I was getting, definitely getting two. I wrote back up at the top of the page, the Empress and the Wounded Warrior and the, the, um, the energy between them. And the Empress is that abundance of being over or well fed. And then the Wounded Warrior is the opposite of that, of the, you know, the one who's gone to war and has been starved, right? The lean, mean fighting machine there. So that'll come up in a second as well. So at 1247, which is the hangman and the 47 of the seven of cups, the abundance and spiritual partnership, the S Sophia pan or expand, the Sophia, the house, the premise, the curtain, and the C contract or the C con tract, the Christ to hold her, the tract, the tract that holds the curtain drawing outside the lines through the chakra system by grounding with Christ and toggling up with Sophia. She is the curtain and he is the tract that holds her so she can go back and forth and side to side. The high vibe ladder to bring the DNA of the 3D and the 5D gate holders, the gatekeepers, the two fives or the high 10, that high vibration, the maternal twins or the mother of two minds, or mother and grandmother, the mother's mother, or male child that is not fair or feeling obligated to hold back, crying, breathing, to shut up, to be seen and not heard, which often is the way parents have raised their children, right? So the mother controlling her mother and her son, or she pretends not to know in order to keep peace of mind, or just knows, but now keeping to themselves, to keep her energy clear from the nine inch nails, right? Maybe what her mother used, being hung out to dry, the curtain on the tract, all in perspective. Another perspective is that all is on tract, a free ride, like Kip in the English patient, pulling her up by candlelight to see all the writings on the wall. A brief moment before he has to go back to put out landmines before they explode. Half Sophia creative and half human Christ without the Elohim or the ELO him, the electric light orchestra song between them, bridging the gap, the space between, they cannot be whole. In order for life to happen, the mother must be healthy and receive a healthy seed from the father. So the child will then be magnetized and in a moment of ecstasy leaps for joy, ending up implanted so the implant now the plant is the child the pand is the house or curtain or veil the feminine the sophia the tract is the christ the holder the series of connected parts the perspective the protracted um devotion length or deviation the length the extent the continuity the extrusion or the extension the footprint the exposition the treatment the pursuit to draw out the flyer, circular, or booklet on how to make it all last longer, the masculine's pursuit, the tract. And then the plant of the child, God's plant. Not The definition of a plant is not an animal. So a baby coming into this world is not an animal. It grows on soil it needs to connect with the earth or a similar surface. Building a secret, building a secret placed amongst the population a sapling, a young tree. Again, this is all the definition for a plant or a new child. The staff, the sole of the foot, 
a trick, a young oyster with unnatural growth now transplanted, seedlings, children, offspring, followers, disciples, descendants, and servants. And remember, discipline means the disciple of own, one's self, one's likeness, your own inner knowing, one who follows their own guidance system, who uses that chakra system in between the S of the Sophia and the C of the, or the N of the uh, Christ, that's code Christ for me. So, um, so if you break it down even further from the plant, the P and the lant, because lant is also a word, and P is the housing for my pin diagram that I always show you, being that the other part of the pin is the feminine that has the pin that goes out to collect the sun and then goes through the circles at the bottom to become the masculine, and the masculine is the back of the pin, the stability there. Well, the housing up top is coming up as the child, the plant. The lant, the P is the pin, and then the lant is aged urine to flavor the marine fish who lives under the sand and is caught for bait, or it is the lant is land, country, nation, or um, the the coot, like the guitar, the lute, excuse me, the sticky clay or cement to seal the hole, the gap, to make things airtight, or in other words, to fill in the empty space to bend over, to soak, to treat in a lie, or in other words, to bring your child into the 3D, which is a lie, right? It's not our truth, or to a lot. So here we have the, the S, X, this all started from expand and contract. Expand is Sophia Pan, and then contract is the Christ tract that holds the curtain of the pan. And now we have the plant of the child, the G plant, instead of the X plant, the G plant of the child, the quantum leap. So going back to the code line, we have abundance as the, the card from the numerology deck. And abundance, as I always bring up, is a BUN dance. And BUN is a value of the kidneys, which are transmuters. The kidney and the liver, they transmute all the physical body's needs. The BUN dance is the transmutation, transmutation of the physical body but it also can be abundance where you're shaking your butt. It is the, the love of the mother is the abundance, the empress, the love of the mother, the sacrifice of transmuting for her children in spiritual partnership with her higher self. So here is the G plant of the child, the housing of the pin, it, the grounds the music and seals up the gaps. It bends over in a 3D lie and is used for bait and switch and exchange they weren't ready for to fill the holes in their parents' lives. So that was a very interesting message today from the code line. So this read starts with the Queen of Cups reversed. The energies below the Queen of Cups reversed here is the top card and then the mini cards on top. The four cards down are the Five of Cups upright, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and then the Five of Wands reversed. And you notice these cards up front behind the love sign, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the dream family, community, or legacy, right? Or the business. We have the Knight of Cups here, which is upright in the reed, and so is the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Emperor and the Empress, who are also both upright in the reed. This is literally a beautiful offering from family to the king and queen of pentacles. Definitely can be grandparents or a power couple. Okay, so there may be some kind of an special anniversary that's going on where the family is doing a special party for their grandparents or it could be for the parents. Um, but yeah, it's definitely the coming up the emperor and the empress. So the queen of cups, after grieving... And um, just so you know, the underlying energies, we had Taurus upright, Aquarius reversed, Gemini upright, Virgo upright, Pisces upright, uh, Virgo was upright twice actually, and then Leo upright and Cancer reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed after grieving, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, lack of satisfaction, perhaps after a battle, a conflict, a game, or a quest, and the Queen of Cups sad, or seen as manipulating the Page of Pentacles child, or this is an opportunity or an invitation or unhappy, she couldn't, um, she couldn't cheer up the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Perhaps still, who's still dissatisfied after the pursuit of happiness that didn't work out, a long drawn out battle for the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Empress is upright here with an offer. 
she offers the truth to the Knight of Cups. And then the Knight of Cups offers love to the Knight of Swords in exchange for their truth. Or the Empress's truth is where love meets truth in the space between, in losing hope now that the worst is over, or arrogance of the bliss state to come. The magician waves their wand, and the high priestess is sitting pretty, and the hermit gets knocked over for being the messenger. Shedding light on the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, the young ones. So again, that's bringing up the children, the pin, the housing of the parents. The happy ending or end of the family or emotional cycle of guilt and shame about the past. And the Knight of Wands is deceit or holding back in uncomfortable energies, emotions of knowing and not having told those emotions, being fully energized and fully exposed or not telling the children as to not affect their happiness or their vacation or their time in the sun. Under the heat, and when I wrote down heat, it wrote down hard again. It's been doing that a lot lately. Under the heat and the blanket of moss or molehills or mold or blues and greens, and then the sun comes out. And literally, the sun brightened up when I wrote that down at 148, which is the, the magician and the eight of cups walking away and within. Or a trip to the mountains is canceled in favor of sun and fun or horseback riding or not telling the kid the trip's been canceled altogether, or being asked not to make a mountain or two mountains out of many molehills. The Queen of Swords reversed is doing the listening part of her work, stuck without movement and making good use of energy to serve others, to get back on the horse after falling, to help put the curtain back up in the tract, the rod and staff that is, or redecorating at work and receiving an offer of help, or perhaps offering another. Perhaps must lock up the dogs or animals during construction or the work being done, or the Queen of Swords reversed is being very still and quiet as the Knight of Pentacles approaches. Synchronicities, choices, heaven in your eyes, and confusion and fantasy with white lilies and the Queen of Wands trying it on as the flame fills in the space between the new love, the self-love, the spiritual love, the space between fills in the gaps, or perhaps the Queen of Wands is seeing the benefit of the flame between the Queen of Wands upright and the King of Wands reversed and the love between, and the King of Wands reversed his uncomfortableness not walking away. The reflection of second place, prize, and dessert, is act, the reflection of this is actually no small dessert no hiding the big, no more hiding the big dessert, no slapping or no stepping on hearts and no surprise plants. And that could be someone who had a shotgun wedding um, now being forced to dance. No longer being forced to dance, only love and no longer re being required to match either. Only to love and make love second only to self at 202 to 203, which is the high priestess and the high priestess going into the empress energy. The king of wands reversed is sad to see perhaps a grown child go out on their own. Um, an adventure comes up today and adventure, I think this is like the third time in a row adventures come up in the numerology cards. 55 is the ace of swords, the truth, Excalibur at 204, which is the high priestess and the emperor. And below adventure was creativity. Again, the three of the empress, which has also been coming up right in a row. So the knowing and being blinded by the light, finding peace in heartbreak and separation after the conflict is over or the game playing or the pursuit of happiness. The Knight of Wands upright and the Emperor upright and the King of Wands reversed, perhaps three generations of players or of fire or of drama or action. But the monkey or the monk key in the middle is the king of wands, right? The middle generation, not the grandparent, not the child. He's reversed and he's not happy. The knight of wands upright has her bows and is in hot pursuit, perhaps showing a little leg there. The emperor is all red, white, and blue and decorated with gold and in his crowning glory in activated, and he's got an activated wand or dancing fool passes codes or hand signs to the crowd. 
and that could be a lot to do with what, you know, Trump sending uh, Q messages, or the emperor can get away with whatever he wants because he holds all the power and the limp wrist or the cuffs. The Knight of Wands may be wanting to make that blue and white silk dress, but there's lots of Aries here with three generations of fire. Patient angels of a higher love awakening the sleeping and meeting with resistance. The Ten of Pentacles family, business or community or bridge of the Knight of Cups upright to the Emperor and Empress both upright and the family, business or community of wealth offering love to that emperor and empress, the power couple, or an anniversary of grandparents, or a birthday party perhaps. Sagittarius upright, Aquarius reversed, Aries upright, and Taurus upright. The King of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Cups reversed, exposing all, or in the sun, perhaps on vacation, and moving forward, or offering help, or proposing that may be uncomfortable, but adventurous at the same time. The King of Wands reversed, exposing all to the Queen of Cups reversed with an opportunity or an invitation to the sad Queen of Wands reversed here, looking the other way at patient angel in marriage, establishment, religion, or Taurus, or the Queen of Wands upright is a Sagittarius or Taurus, or the Queen of Wands Sagittarius and a separate Taurus looking back at the past or how they treated the Queen of Cups reversed with kids her offering and seeing them as less than them or below the queen of wands in status the wounded warrior and the king of wands reversed that can be the same person seeing synchronicities or messages of the queen of pentacles reversed or synchronicities about the page of swords child and the queen of pentacles reversed or their options their dreams their heaven in their eyes or the queen of pentacles reversed and the queen of cups reversed maybe adult kids with an opportunity or to learn about grief, sadness, guilt, shame, and or the past of the Queen of Wands with absent angel in their marriage, religion, or establishment, and living in the past. This also can be um, someone recounting somebody's life as well. You know, it could be like at a grand, like, you know, a 50th or 60th anniversary where they recount everything about their childhood and their lives. The King of Wands reversed wounded warrior and the queen of wands upright sad or grown children making a speech perhaps bringing others to tear or to anger or making a speech about one who passed the foundation here at the root of the matter is the higher self the knowing and not telling and no place or no peace the king of swords in 5d connection with the page of cups message of love or a child who's innocent or the King of Swords and the Page of Cups child visit one who won't wake up or can't talk or perhaps a mass or an open casket or an ill friend or relative in the hospital or a secret high priestess or psychic abilities and the Queen of Cups reversed with the higher self King of Swords in meditation of 5D and a connection of innocence. The central energy at the heart of the matter is the King of Pentacles reversed perhaps in the past with a connection and standing up for themselves, fending off others and burdened by making the family happy to offer inspiration and new growth to them and perhaps creativity as well at 235, which is the high priestess and the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. The challenge being here for the twins is the two of swords floating on air without a care, letting go of what little they have to fix or to make repairs or make amends or perhaps to fix a broken car or emergency funds or a breakup, breakdown, a breakthrough or break in and keeping to themselves about the devil's wave, the temptation, the dissatisfaction and separation, avoiding disaster or in the aftermath, cleanup and not wanting to participate in that. The King of Cups reversed and the King of Wands reversed may not be talking here and the King of Pentacles reversed starting over in love. The emperor may be stunned, dazed, and confused. And here is where I actually took a break at 255, which is the high priestess and the ace of swords, the truth, Excalibur. So like all these kings are reversed, except for the emperor, but he's dazed and confused. Perhaps about having two lovers and breaking away from two, or perhaps two kids and breaking away from the kids. The wounded warrior confessing wounds to a friend, 
now that the worst is over of bleeding out and leading the way out with a positive message instead of energetic exchange with the king of pentacles reversed imprisoned in the mind without peace or no peaceful place to go the fool free to leap away from unhappiness with self free to leap away from dissatisfaction or not getting their wish or in need of company and now for the twins is the five of pentacles the hermit without light in the mary magdalene cave out in the cold in exile from a lower vibration group keeping their cards close to their chest and the queen of pentacles upright juggling the rainbow trying to keep that high vibration and her eye on the gold coin with the king of wands reversed around in negative energy the higher self the king of pentacles reversed in exile injury or dealing with illness or poor and finding freedom in it anyway from uncomfortable energies of withholding and deception or saving and getting up at the crack of dawn the queen of cups reversed no longer conflicted about imbalances debt inequities not sharing and letting go perhaps spending a little now fending off unwanted advances but perhaps weak and stealing messages from a player or a liar or stealing from kids the page of swords and the knight of wands reversed who may be lying to them so someone might be like stealing information or even money from kids but the information that they're getting is maybe tainted or you know there may they may actually be lies the wounded warrior no longer watching conflicted or competing for passions no longer doing that or spreading the word and falling short suffering in silence or dealing with a sister or secret service or purging it out seeing the knight of wands reversed in a big passion or lovers in the sun and exposed in travels or on a journey no longer obsessing over cutting hair cutting cords cutting ties or threads in energetic exchange with the king of pentacles reversed the big love at work with the wounded warrior hostage and awake to an inspection or imprisoning event of energy harvesting by the government perhaps the emperor implementing a plan for those without or a plan for layoffs or to set clients up with someone else if you're closing a business or the injured and left behind with a never-ending story in a dead end dark night or near-death experience or perhaps after death experience and after the king of pentacles reversed imprisoned or dealing with anxiety fears stress and no peace finding freedom from dissatisfaction with self and or loneliness and or arrogance so this is someone who maybe has you know someone situation they lose it all and then suddenly realize they're free which is amazing so soon as the wounded warrior journeying on as the devil waves ready to set another fire the journey to the other side of the world or the divine feminine in the 5d or to travel around the country and or the neighborhood destined without option to perform injustice or with libra reversed or queen of swords reversed without option but to listen for once or to work together at 322 which is the empress and the 22 of the fool pisces reversed libra upright and another libra reversed here the twin flames seeing themselves as the ace of cups upright at 323 the empress and the king of wands the twins are the ace of cups upright the self-love spiritual love new love receiving a passionate offer from the page of wands reversed perhaps a frustrated or uninspired child or someone sick or having temper tantrums the six of cups negative past or difficult kids or on the outs with the one you love or in a breakup or lack of affection and receiving an offer of love and passion from the page of wands reversed feeling weak in need of courage health or out of control leo or ego perhaps shopping again and can't help themselves or weak when it comes to multiple choice how to pick when there's more than one right answer awaking to synchronicities and choices and heaven and confusion or a kid in a candy store make an effort love yourself first and honeymoon all come up for the twin flames enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and oh, a bird just hit the window around the twins or how they are seen is the three of swords upright the heartbreak the separation um, perhaps surgery and lightning strike three and you're out the queen of pentacles reversed and the sun uh, yeah, and the sun reversed post-war ptsd 
the mother and daughter the same and reversed, ungrounded or losing money or just always are spending too much. The block here for the twins is the hangman awake, deliberating and coming together or choking on their words, trying not to be judgmental with the injustice of it all or Libra reversed and Aquarius reversed together. Whose bright idea was this? Spiritual partnership comes up, abundance, and even more so for the twins is happy ending. The king of cups reversed, living in the past, or looking back at the phoenix rising from the ashes, from the drama, to tango, to dance. Home working, or homework, or aligning with union. The, the knight of wands reversed player, with the emperor or Aries, or the emperor player falling short, planning layoffs, or a firing, or how to pay off hospital bills going back and forth with a never-ending story or with a Scorpio reversed. Rising just to fall again and the Divine Feminine's heart opening up just a crack or a plan to come together at work, perhaps at the beach or in meditation in 5D and the Ten of Pentacles dream family, business and or community. The Divine Feminine rising above the drama to tango and the Divine Masculine player falling short, planning to co-create a beach, dream, community, or resort. Or as an anniversary gift, the kids are gifting to the emperor and the empress a trip, vacation, or spa retreat. After big efforts, the emperor and the empress receiving love in return, or learning to receive from the Knight of Cups, the family, business, and or community. The Queen of Cups reversed, and the higher self offering love in separation with the king of wands reversed and the king of pentacles reversed and the challenge being the peace of mind and the wounded warrior awake to hostilities and the hermit in exile rising above falling short and coming out of the e-tower or planning trinity or place of co-creation at the beach or in 5d dream family business and or community the queen of cups reversed and the king of wands reversed king of wands times two both reversed this could be perhaps two twin men, like two twin brothers, or they could be twin male couple as well, or really fell from grace in the emperor's eyes. The higher self, king of pentacles reversed, challenged by floating on air and the Mary Magdalene hermit in exile or of a high dimension in a new love with the wounded warrior in separation in the awakening to rise and fall, to plan and create to rest, enjoy, and have abundance and the dream family at 344, which is the Empress and the Four of Cups, grounding and integrating and the mastering of love, especially of allowing yourself to receive love. So let's pull a card from the energy deck. It's 3753, which is the King of Cups and the Knight of Swords, the Messenger of Truth. So that's literally unconditional love and the Messenger of Truth, which is the two things that you need, the love and the truth. Okay, so for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all these concerned, what do we need to know and what do we need to learn? God, Mother, Father, Christo Sophia, Prime Creator, Source, whatever you'd like to title that energy of love. Please armor us all with your love. Let's clear all negative energies from all chakra layers, auric layers, grounding and galactic cords across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all these concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see here. All right, right away, we have the 33 of the Christ vibration that came out, and that's also the seven of wands, standing up for yourself, perhaps fending off others, is the door to romance. Okay, and you see there's hearts in the doors here too. I love this little swinging doors with the hearts in them. So we have two other cards that are coming up. The bottom of the deck is the yin-yang, so the perfect balance of energies, the 22 of the full, allowing yourself to be free, to have an open heart, and do whatever you like, to be whoever you want. We have the, um, the appreciation card below that of the 15 of the shadow side to make sure you love yourself, not only the light, but the shadow as well, loving all parts of yourself. In order to have that door to romance open, standing up for yourself, standing up for yourself and your higher self, which is your twin. And then these two come up of the sun, rest and rejuvenation, which is that vacation time that was coming up in the read, the 19 of spending time in the sun and just relaxing and being still 
and then the attachment card of the five, which is expanding and contracting and letting go of the mask as well as any emotional attachments that no longer serve you and the attachments to being someone that you're not. Okay. So vacation is always that great time where you can just take off the mask of being at work and actually be you, right? So why don't you just be you all the time? This is the point here. Okay. So the door, the door to romance is to be relaxed and yourself. Okay. And have fun. Five is all about fun and romance. So what a lovely message. All right, get this out there. Make sure if you like the message to share with others and like and share and subscribe. And thank you all for spending your time with me. I'm so grateful for all of you. Okay, drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. And it's just 40-40. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye.